that position. Sometimes let up a little bit. And I'm going to give Maris credit. They probably had an interesting halftime talk that lit their fire a little bit more. And they made shots. We missed five layups in our first seven possessions. And they were pretty easy layups. If we make those, there's never a run. So even though they came out making shots, had we just made our layups, it wasn't even jump shots, that never run would never have happened. Good questions for the students so we can get them downstairs. Scott, when you go up against a young team like this, you, you, you guys scored through like the first eight points or so, and you really set the tone. How, what are you feeling when you know it seems like you can do anything on the court out there against a young team like this? Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking for the open areas and um, just to run the plays that coach asks. And then uh, most of the time we try to get our break going, uh, try to get some stops. We were playing some good defense in the first half. So once we were getting some stops in the first half, we got to just run our break like we do. Were you surprised the way Maris came out in the second? Um, no, I knew they were going to come out with some fire. Um, I just didn't expect us to miss layups like we did. Mike, at 31 on the game, you were very consistent under the basket today. What were your thoughts about uh, your your game tonight? Well, you know, uh, the first five minutes of the first half, you know, uh, the guys was finding me on the, um, on the, on the block, and I was able to, to finish, and I kind of – Kind of felt like I was going to have a pretty decent game today, and, and guys just kept finding me. And uh, times when they had doubled me, I, I, I had looked uh, for any open guards. Yeah. Matt, when you came in, you were, you were hot. You had, you had the five three pointers in the first half. What was your thought when you got in? And you made your first shot. Uh, it's very easy when you when you get a layup to start. And I thought Randy, you know, fed me on the break nice there. And uh, you know, just to see the ball go in because I've been struggling lately. You know, just to see it go in felt good. And um, you know, like Mike said, he double, he got doubled down a few times. He made a nice kick out to myself. And uh, Scotty, obviously, leading the break, found me when I was open. And, uh, you know, I, I just got to make shots. That's what it comes down to. Mike, could you talk about your kind of battle there with Adam Kemp, their big guy, and what problems he posed today? Oh, he's, uh, he's a beast. He had a, he had a heck of a game. He had 25 and 15 rebounds. I think that pretty much says it all. I think he was uh, pretty much there. Their, their, their main factor of the game. Um, I think if he would have probably played, a, had an extra 10 minutes up on, on the scoreboard, uh, it would have been a pretty close game. Um, he pretty much uh, was just, he had every putback after every putback. You know, uh, he pretty much ran the floor well. And, you know, I think uh, we have a tendency of, of, of watching the shot go up and not, and not boxing out on a consistent basis. I think we have to get better at that. Coach, you did talk a little bit about the difference in Maris that you see this year as opposed to last year. and what. I thought I saw the effort they're playing early within the season, late in the season for them last year. I thought even in their playoff game um, at Fairfield's Arena last year that they played really hard, shared the ball, played with more of a sense of urgency. And watching film on them, I saw that in a, a lot of games they've played already. So I think they've got a really young group that's working really hard and is only going to get better and better. I think Chucky's doing a great job with them. You know, the, the 100 points speak for themselves, but the way you guys played on defense, particularly there in that second half where you didn't let the rally get too far ahead of you, how happy were you with the defensive effort? I was happy late in the second half, not for the first 8 to 10 minutes. I thought we just made it too easy. Uh, I thought we picked up our defense and did a little better job of, you know, doubling down on Kemp rather than watching him mm -hmm. as the game went along. I thought it was a nice adjustment by them to throw the ball inside and try to get him involved to start the second half and see what we would do. So I thought they, they made a good move. It took our guys a while, and I thought we adjusted to it. Coach, first half seemed like your defense was setting up some of the fast breaks. Really had a nice setup to Jones and then to Glover. Uh, how did you feel about your defense today? I liked it. I think we got committed too many fouls in the first half, and that's kind of why we, we backed off a little in the second half. We had so many guys in foul trouble. And we were a little bit more half-court defensive-oriented in the second half. We were more token pressure, not real pressure going after it. I think we're a better team when we can up-tempo on both ends of the floor, but we did have to be careful because I think we had three or four guys with two fouls apiece, and I didn't want to play the second half that way. Coach, you've had three strong games since the hot streak game. How do you, how do you feel you, uh, the team is playing now after you got past the road trips? I thought we played very well in Siena. I thought we played decently at the second half in Niagara, and I thought we played about a little better, a half, maybe about six or seven minutes tonight. So we have to build to get better, and that's not going to be enough to, to continue to win in this league.